Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel, and I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I would just like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I always like to thank who have inspired me on my journey. And you can check out their videos and all the information on their websites. They are Rabbi Sholem Arash, Rabbi Laser Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansour, Rabbi Alon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovadia, Rabbi Daniel Asur, Nisan Baruch Black, David Sachs, and uh, Rabbi Michael Skobak from Jews for Judaism. And also, if you've never checked out this site before, MLM for the Soul actually stands for something, MLM. And uh, on my first video, I explain what this is all about. And I have, Baruch Hashem, over 70, I think, over 75 videos, I think, by now. Maybe a little more than that. So you have a lot to check out, a lot to um, look into. And also, if you have any ideas or suggestions, you can always leave a comment below the video. If you, there's something you want me to try to talk about, I can see if that's possible. So today's topic, I took from this Tehillim, again, this is the Art Scroll, um, interlinear translation from, art, from uh, the Shot and Scene edition from the Art Scroll. And the parak that I got the idea from is parak Pei Gimel, and Pei Gimel is uh, 83. So the topic is called Independent or Dependent? Which one is it? So um, the introduction to this, they always have a heading, says... The historical enmity of the nations against Israel is an outgrowth of hatred for what which Israel represents. The complete subordination of all humans striving to Hashem's will. So uh, what it talks about is that the nations want to try to obliterate the Jews. And then one Pesach it says here, um, I'm just going to read Pesach Hay. Says Amru lechu benachachideim migoy beloi zacher sheim Yisrael od. Come, let us obliterate them from nationhood. So that not remembered will be the name of Israel any longer. So underneath, according to Rav Hirsch, he says that what does this mean? Let us obliterate them. Jewish nationhood is predicated upon reliance on Hashem rather than reliance upon political, economic, and military dictates. The nations wish to destroy this nationhood because it contradicts their basic premise of the supremacy of human power and independence. So, again, is it... Dependent or independent? Which one? It depends, really. Uh, I agree here, of course, yes. Um, we rely on Hashem for everything. We are dependent on Hashem. Hashem takes care of us. We wouldn't be here without Him. So there's that dependence and that gratitude. We have to be thankful. Like Without Him, we wouldn't exist. Even though a lot of the other nations want to be independent, it's all about me and my might and my glory and my fame and everything. But in the end, everyone returns back to the earth. So uh, you go back to where you came from. So um, independence, if you're going to be independent of something, there might be, that might be a good thing as opposed to dependency on something that's harmful for you, for example, alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, bad food, soda, processed food. So yes, I would say being independent of those items that are harmful for you and are also, it's a mitzvah in the Torah to not harm your body. So all those things are harmful to the body, so it is against the Torah to depend on them, to use them as a crutch. Oh, I have this thing, I'm... You know, I need a break, I need a drink, I need a cigarette, I need some kind of nosh that's not good for you. It's not like you're eating a fruit. You know, you want something chemically enhanced, so it actually alters how you feel. Um, and not in a good way, because that's why they put those chemicals in there, to make you dependent on that harmful food, such as fried foods as well, uh, people who eat fast food. You know, it's that dependency on the smell attracts you into it and it continually makes you addicted. So you're addicted and you're dependent on something that is not good for you. But with Hashem being dependent on Hashem for everything, like for example, they were saying like, you know, anything that happens, you know, 
if you depend on the economy for your um, survival, meaning for you to have your parnasa, uh, for your being provided for, then you're going to be miserable because Parnassah doesn't come from your work, it comes from Hashem. We have to do a little bit of our part. We have to do a something. But it really comes from Hashem in the end. It doesn't come from, you know, getting up early or, or staying up late. Or, it doesn't come from that. It comes from Hashem. It all comes from Hashem. So we have to understand that. That, yes, we need to do a little bit of our part to kind of merit that. But really, you know, uh, Hashem really wants us to spend more time focusing on Torah and mitzvot and milah chasadim and doing all these good things to emulate Hashem. So we need to realize that also same thing with protection, same thing with um, like military protection. If all the people would come together, have yiras Hashem, avas Hashem, avas, the nation have you know amongst each other, then you wouldn't need all that. In the Tehillim, Hashem says it. If you will, if you will just turn to me, I can just wipe out your enemies in a blink of an eye. Before I blink my eye, they'd be gone. You wouldn't even really realize that they disappeared. It would be so fast. You'd be like, what happened? You know, it'll be like a bad dream. But that's the problem is, unfortunately, they rely on, they figure it's their own weapons, their might, their, you know, working at it, their everything that they do, that they're actually making a difference. Whereas if they, you know, say Ani Maman, that you believe in Hashem that's going to take care of you, that he's, he's the one that fights all your fights. He's the one that protects you. If you put your, your complete faith and trust in him, that he's your protector, not other things. And you're dependent on him, and the results will show. So if, if the whole Am Yisrael would do that, you know, the Gula would come much faster. Bim Heir of Yameinu, Amen, speedily in our days. So the idea is, is we, we, we think we're independent, we think it's our power, our, we're doing something. We're really not, and because we're creating an independence from Hashem, Hashem is not helping us because we're not showing that we need Him. We have to show that we need Him, we want His help, we desire His help, we depend on Him. You know, again, but like I said, there's an independence that can fit in too, but that only is relating to not doing to staying away from the stuff that's harmful to you. So don't be dependent on those things. Be dependent on Hashem. So um, so anything that happens, uh, we have to really rely on Hashem for assistance. You know, we wake up in the morning, we say, Mo de'ani lefanecha, melechai bekayam. Thank you, Hashem. Shechazarta nishmati bechemla, that you gave me back. So you're like, wow, I'm dependent on you because without you, I wouldn't have the life force in me. You know, anything that you do. So we have to really be... The dependency is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Like people have a codependency that they can't live without something. But it's not about Hashem. It's about something, you know, like they're addicted to. Like, oh, I can't live without my drink in the morning or my coffee in the morning with my cigarette. But those are not things that are good for you. Whereas if you say, well, I can't live without Hashem in the Torah, that's wonderful. Please be dependent. Please continue that addiction. It's so good for you. You can never get enough. What it is, is it never tires out. And it's a spiritual addiction. It's a spiritual uh, energy. You know, it's it's for your ruchnias, for your spiritual growth. It's not a material addiction that you can never get, you, 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 you keep wanting more of it, but it doesn't actually do you any good. Like, you continually want more of it, but it never satisfies you. And, and whereas, the, the Torah, I mean, connected to Hashem, you want more of it, it does satisfy you, it just gives you reason to keep wanting more of it. So we have to realize that that dependence is beneficial for us. So we have to do that. This is the time that we have to come closer to Hashem. We have to do what's right because Hashem wants to bring the Geula, He wants to bring Mashiach. It's just that we have to do our part. So I hope and pray that we can all come together as an Am Yisrael with uh, unity and with achdus and do Hashem's will and be dependent on Him and ask Him for help and rely on Him and also thank Him and thank Him in public. Make the acknowledgement to other people that it's because of Hashem 
that we're winning this. It's because of Hashem that I feel good. It's because of Hashem that the day is wonderful. Everything is because of Hashem. So in that merit, may we all live to see and have the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and the rebuilding of our final everlasting Beit Hamikdash. Amen, and thank you for watching.